Hi guys, this is my first video and here I'll be discussing image mapping in HTML. So uh, first I'll just show you what an image map does. I'll just open a website. Now, uh, yes, you see, I have the cursor in this area and you know if I click on it, it doesn't, nothing happens. And uh, when I move my cursor on this area, on this image, it changes into a hand which basically signifies that if I click on this image it will take me to a different link I'll just show you if I click on this image so it takes me to this article so this is basically the use of image mapping you know you can map this image to a different part of in a, to a different part to a different page or to a different part in the same page that is basically what we can achieve by using image mapping now first of all we need a suitable image now uh, what do I mean by suitable image uh, let us consider this example now this does got clear cut lines so this image is good for image mapping for example if I want to tag this part of the image to a section which contains a menu about cupcakes so yeah I can uh, define a hotspot in this area it has got clear cut line so it will make it easy to you know define a hotspot now hotspot is a, a part of the image uh, on which if you click you'll uh, you'll be taken to a different part a uh, different page for example in this uh, this image this is an hotspot you see just uh, just right just around this you know the cursor is changing so that this marks the beginning of a hotspot and this whole image which is a rectangular one so this is a hotspot so basically we have three hotspots first of all it's a rectangular hotspot uh, and then we have a circular hotspot and then we have a polygon hotspot so i'll just start first of all uh, i'll just use some tags send to tags and um, in this uh, tutorial i'm creating a menu so i need this image for the menu i'm just uh, you know i'll just copy the destination and um, just insert this image using image sort and just copy and the name was 21.jpg now this is a basic tag if you want to insert the image now if i want to create an uh, image map in this image i'll just you know you just have to uh, there's a attribution of this uh, tag uh, you use this this attribute image uh, map use map and you just give a name to this map uh, you use a hashtag and let's just say i'll give it a name called image okay that's it and just close the center i'll just save it and i'll show you what it actually is happening so there i have this image on the center of my uh, page uh, and i have not defined any hotspot and so I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, I can't see anything happening. So, yeah, that's it. Now, I have this image and, um, you know, I have to define hotspot. And for hotspot, I need uh, coordinates. So, how do I find the coordinates? Is, you know, you can use any editor. The simplest is paint. So, I'm just open this image with paint. And now, if I move my cursor to this part, which is the top left, top left part of this uh, this cupcake image so here at the bottom left corner i have this uh, coordinates 187 by 33 so this is the coordinate of this point if i move it to the bottom bottom right corner so this is a 244 by 119 so this is the coordinate of this point so this way we can find the coordinates of uh, any point on this image and uh, if we are using a rectangular hotspot, we need two, two coordinates. One is the top left and second is the bottom right and it will select the whole area. Alternatively, you can also use uh, the top right or the and the bottom left. For the circular hotspot, we need, uh, we need the coordinates of a center and the length of the radius. For example, if uh, you know, if I have the center over here and uh, this is the radius, so it will select this whole spot. And for a polygon uh, hotspot, if we have an n-sided polygon as a hotspot, then we have to define n coordinates, and they have to be one after the other. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, we'll get something of uh, something that we don't want. 
so I already have the coordinates um, sorry yeah okay now uh, I've already defined the na name of the you know image map now why is it important to define the name for example if in a single page we have more than one image and we are using them for image mapping then we have to define a different name for all the images or rather all the image map images so this, this is the basic uh, use of uh, naming an image map and then we have to open the sorry, and then we have to open the map uh, this can be done by this uh, tag map name and just the name which I assigned earlier you just this means that I'm opening this this uh, this image map now now I'm defining the hotspots I've opened the image I've first of all I've defined the image uh, what is the name of the image map then I've opened the image map and now I'm defining the hotspots here I've used a rectangular core uh, hotspot because you know my image is of that kind I have this rectangular sections so yeah I can use a rectangular hotspot yeah that's it here's the image yeah, that, here's the image now let's just say that uh, I and this is the href this tag now we use this along with this area shape now uh, here we can use uh, either you can hyperlink you can create a hyperlink which will take you to a different page or in this example I'm actually using anchor tags which I'll be discussing uh, you know the further tags which I'll be I'll be using uh, and I've just defined different anchors yeah these are the anchors for example as uh, snacks cold coffee hot coffee cakes and sundays now let's go back to the images now here I have snacks cold coffee hot coffee cakes and sundays and uh, and I've defined all these along with their respective coordinates now now look I have this for snacks this for Sundays this for cake away this for uh, you know this is for brews and this is for cold coffee yeah this is the menu I'm creating now what I'll do is I'll uh, one by one I'll just open the anchor that I've created and I'll link it to the respective images okay I've already created the anchors so now we use this to open snacks yeah that's yeah so this will this will open the anchor and uh, now where should it take me so it should take me to I'm sorry image source it should take me to the image containing the snack section which is this yeah this is the snack section so I'll just copy the destination and the name slash yeah that's it image source yeah that's it and let me see you have to close you have to close yeah and now you have to close the anchor tag so uh, what it will do is that if I click on the image, my original image, on this snack section, so it will take me to this image. Yeah, I'll show you. You know, just save it. I will save as. Now the problem is I have both the images on the you know I, the page is not very long. Uh, you know, I'll just use this tag called break line and just copy and repeat it. Yeah. Should work I guess yeah now. Now see when I when, when I move my cursor on the snacks you know it's changing again into a hand shape that means it will take me to a different part on a page now I click on this and yes here yeah, I move to this uh, section which has details about the snacks 
Now, likewise, let's just say, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just copy this, and I've got five, so I'll paste it four. In this section, I'm just replacing the name of the anchors with the name which I've defined above, and then I'm changing the relative uh, destination where I want the anchors to take me to. I'll just go through this quickly. Uh, I'll replace each of the following anchors with the, uh, for example, I'll uh, replace the snacks with cold coffee and then I'll paste the image or uh, uh, file or destination of the cold coffee file. Okay, I'll just you know I'll provide some few breaks between all these. Yeah, that's it. I'll just save it. Now let's go back to our page. So this is our page. I've created this menu. So if I go to the snacks, uh, you know this small image that is repeating the snacks. If I click on it, I'm taken. Uh, I straight away I come to the. I'm sorry, this is not breaking. Probably I'll just repeat them a few times. Work. That's working. Okay, so I move to the snack section and I click on this. I'm taking to the snack section. I move again and uh, I click on this coffee, uh, cold coffee section. If I click on this, I'm taking to the cold coffee menu. Then for similarly for the hot coffee, cakes, and Sundays. So. This is basically how you use image mapping in HTML. It's pretty simple and uh, you know this is just a basic layout. You know you can add titles and many different things and you can use it to your advantage. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and yeah thanks.